I wake up. I take 100 milligrams as a loft. Cetrolene. On an empty stomach, the pill incites an artificial nauseous feeling in me. I toast some bread. I take two alcohol seltzers. I blend half a carrot, a beet, a celery stick, and some protein powder so I don't have to bother eating anything. Two thousand seven hundred and fifty feet away from my house is a coffee shop. I don't know if that's the actual distance. Google Maps says so. I walk and have my first espresso there. And so that I can mingle with people. I pretend to lift some weights. I buy some weed. I only buy cookies, gummy bears, and space cupcakes. I don't smoke. Smoke smells. Smoke is for construction workers. By the time I'm back home, I am completely stoned. I play three chords on the guitar. I sleep until I wake up. No alarms. I hate alarms. We would only really need alarms if we wouldn't wake up otherwise. But we always wake up. Eventually. God damn it. Then I go grab my second espresso of the day. At the coffee shop. And so I can mingle with people. When I go back home, I visit my brother's grave. Except graves are useless. I don't go to cemeteries. Then I have some Xanax. Not a lot. Half a milligram. Just to avoid the melancholy slapping me in the face too hard. I watch a movie. When the movie finishes, I take diazepam. What all you losers call volume. Then I wake up in the morning. I mean, at least this is what I've done so far. Why don't I just kill myself and make it that easy? Like hell. this town. So nice, isn't it? It's okay, whatever. No. no, I love it. It's quiet, peaceful, very respectful. Away from the uh, chaos of the city. I see you here pretty often. You live nearby? Mm -hmm. uh, 
Very nice community. Don't you think so? Um, if the environment is clean, um, the faster the conscience gets dirty, my friend. Pardon me? Forget it. <laughs> I'm John. Phoenix. I gotta go to the store, get some hangers for my wife. Can you believe that? <laughs> hangers. A great plan for a Friday night. You married? Nope. But you wear a ring. Oh, ah, aesthetics. You wear sneakers. Doesn't mean you're an athlete. Yeah. That's bad, man. You gonna put that right in the coffee? Yeah. What's it for? Alka seltzer. I mean, it's it's for um, because I'm sad. I, I use alka seltzer for a lot of maladies. Um, What's a big boy like you so sad about? You know, um, I'm sorry, John. I'm truly banality makes me sad. I guess the most. Look, I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry. I, I gotta go. I just met you. I'm sorry. Sorry. Bye. Person. I didn't get a chance to meet you yet. Sir. Mark was always on time. Um, buy a watch. I'm Ariel! By the way!
I'm getting so used to this. I'm thinking this looks good on you. <laughs> Are you done? You know what? Doesn't matter what kind of job you do, as long as you're good at it. Yeah, you're gonna recover pretty good. You know the process by heart. It's none of my business. But you need to get out once in a while, my friend. All that mold you have under the rug is going to infect your lungs. Once a week, but only once a week, I do drugs. I start with Xanax, which I mix with half a glass of pure malt whiskey. And I chase the whole thing with two Vicodin. Don't get me wrong, it's all absolutely legal. You only need 20 bucks and a doctor prescription. But the wise blend of these three guys here have such a mystical effect. Compared to this, a shot of cocaine is a little peck. In this state, I can spend hours reading nutrition facts on food boxes. They can tell you your whole family has been exterminated by a group of Islamic fundamentalists and react to the news with a cheerful shrug. Saturday is for grocery shopping. Catch, good catch. What's your name? What's your name? Ronno. Like the Indian? Hi. Hey. I'm sorry for that. That's okay. My son Danny gets a little wider out here. Danny? I thought his name was Geronimo. <laughs> I'm Luigi. Luigi? Yeah. Wow. Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the ball. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, my wife, Charlotte, is making homemade treats tonight. Why don't you join us for dinner? Uh, no. I, I mean, I, I like to Oh, no, come on. I can't. It'll be fun. No, it won't be. You can bring your Julie with someone out here? No, I'm alone. I'm alone. Hold more. Come on, out. Come on. It's seven no, night. No, I'm serious. That's it's, our house, the yellow house. See you at eight, okay? No, I wish I... See you tonight. No, no. See what's your name? Tonight, I, I wish okay. I could, but I can't. I... Okay, okay. I can't. See I don't tonight. know how to...
So, Luigi's from Italy. I'm from Belgium. We met each other at an airport in Hong Kong. Now we ended up living here, in the middle of the desert. Yeah. You know, we used to travel so much. We went to Peru, Japan, Greece. Whenever we got a chance to leave, we would eat the road. Then, you know, the last few years, and sales are getting lower and lower. Well, life's cheap here, so. <laughs> Mom, can I have some cookies? Sure. <laughs> I'll grab treats for everybody. So, Phoenix, what brings you up here? Or down, depends what direction you're looking at it. Um, <clears throat> I fly. I mean, I used to fly. Without an engine. I was a wingsuit uh, demo jumper. You know those guys that jump from a plane at an event in an aerodynamic suit that's sponsored by some energy drink? I was, I, I was one of those guys. Uh, I was pretty good too. Wow, what a job. <clears throat> yeah. And you've always lived here, in the middle of the desert? No. I'm, that's something, um, no. Are these the same cookies as yours? Not that stinky crap again? Then language. They're the same as everybody else's. He's gluten intolerant. It sounds like you're a real free spirit. I wish I could still travel and all, but you need freedom for that. You really need to be freed from so many things. Luigi, that's not fair. We still have our good times. This is a quiet life, but still a good life. Yeah. But those times will come back. I swear to you. They will. He'll grow up, I save money, and we do it again. <laughs> she needs guts. Pardon? I said that in order to do that, what you need is guts. <clears throat> guts. Do you still fly, sir? No, not anymore. I bet that requires a lot of dedication. Why is it that you don't fly anymore? Because, um, more than dedication requires trust. Especially, um, trust in yourself. Once you lose that, you, um, you better quit. You seem to me like a very brave, blunt man. That must come out of self-confidence and trust. No, um, if a person has to jump off a very high cliff into the ocean and they just close their eyes and they jump, well, that's brave. But if you're going to evaluate that from that height, with that wind speed and the weight of your body, you can stand the impact of that water? You know, that's trusting yourself and that's very different. Mom, what does trust mean? You mind? Go ahead. Um, <clears throat> Danny, what trust means is that although your mom told you those cookies were the regular cookies, even after you took the first bite and you knew they clearly weren't, you believed her. That's what trust means. Trust sucks. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Um, are you here for me? Because if, if you are, I was, I need, I was thinking... Relax, Feeney. If we were here for you, you wouldn't be standing in that doorway right now. Okay. 
You have been quietly positioned horizontally a while ago, don't you think? <laughs> Alright, so quit being a prima donna already. Okay, sir. Get lost. Okay, get lost from okay. my entrance. Now you can get back here. Back here. So I got fucks to do. This isn't organic, is it? This is shit. Do it. What the fuck are you doing? Getting too old for this shit. Manners. Feet on the couch, you fucking animal. Excuse me. Huh. So since you're the pro, where's all the soft dirt around here? I don't want to be here all night. I'm hungry. Um. It's the other side of the driveway. Right over there. You dig this time. Do you ever have food here? What? Are you okay? You eat? I'm okay. Since we came here to this godforsaken place, we brought the delivery for next week. The bags are in the usual spot in your shed. Okay. 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 Move. Morning, Phoenix. Luigi thought it would be nice to fix the roof, so we came by. Is this a good time? I have the tools. Oh, oh no, I, I, oh, it's not necessary. So, how are you? Baby! Baby! Listen to the Listen to this! I'm listening. So gentle and so virtuous she appears, my lady, when greeting other people, that every tongue trembling grows silent and eyes do not dare gaze upon her. She passes by hearing herself praised, graciously clothed with humility, and she appears to be a creature who has come from heaven to earth to show forth a miracle. She shows herself so pleasingly to her beholders that she gives to the eyes a sweetness to the heart, which no one can understand who does not feel it. And it appears that 
From her lips moves a tender spirit full of love, which says again and again to the soul, sigh. I'm not good, Rosa. I'm dying. I'm dying. You're so annoying. I don't know why I keep calling you. <sighs> why don't you ever call me, by the way? I never got nothing to say, okay? That's why. Nothing ever changes in my life. So anyway, how are the, how are the kids? Well, Martin joined the school's football team, so we go to the games once a week and make a family night out of it. It's <laughs> nice. And tomorrow Mary goes to Cabo with her girls. She's all grown up. Wow. T t t t t tell them I, 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 I said hi. They know you say hi. You say hi every time. How about you show your face for a change? How about you come to the party Saturday night? Peter and I would love it. <sighs> the anniversary party? Flash. Who is it? Who's this? It's El Macarena for the tattoo. The new guy from the yellow side. I don't know nothing about the new guy guy, okay? I don't know, bro. I'm, I'm the new guy. Tattoo guy, yellow. Hang on a second. Hang on a second, okay? Okay. Phoenix in the desert. Wait. Hey, it's me. What? Okay, um, uh, South American, I don't know, maybe Mexican. I guess I met Young at my fucking door. Sounds like the new guy for the tattoo. What the f- What the f- I'm sorry, I was just a little scared. And, well, why do you guys say something to me? Ciao. <sighs> Fucking assholes. Hang on a second. Hey. Hi. Yeah. I'm the new guy. Close door, come on.
Rosa, really, wow. I couldn't be luckier. What are you doing here? I almost gave up seeing you alive. Well, when you give up on your expectations, amazing things can happen, you know? Look at you. Huh. What? Yeah. Leave me alone. What are you trying to... What do you want me to do? I don't know. Clean your house, for instance? I don't want to. Do something fun once in a while? Date someone? I date somebody new every week. Yeah, we all know how you do it. Huh? I really don't understand what you find in women you have to pay for. I really don't. Other than a good sweat, and you can always go to the gym for that. But with only one pour, I like to have sweated. I mean, sweat. I'm gonna make some tea. So what now? You just sit here ignoring each other? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Something. Anything. Just let it out already. Um... Fuck you. Well, some elaboration wouldn't hurt. If I weren't your sister, I'd be jealous. But you are. <laughs> you know, Fiend? Hmm. Everybody happens to take a break once in a while. But a six-year break isn't a break. <laughs> Staring. That's your plan? Oh, come on. No, I, don't, I don't have any... I don't make plans. I don't have any plans, okay? You know, I worry for you, Fiend. Stop it. You know what you remind me of? What? That ridiculous trophy on your bookshelf. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Who the hell cares about a second place you snagged in a ski race when you were 14? God damn it, Fiend, you're 40 and you're living in the desert. You won thousands of other awards, but no one cares. I love you. You don't care. I, no, that's not true. I'm sure that's the one thing you dust around here on a regular basis. <clears throat> You're making as much sense as that stupid statuette. I'm gonna go. Okay?
started working here, every man in this county has hit on me. It took two months to see the color of your eyes. When I care about something, I take my time. But something, or someone... I should keep practicing? I think maybe you do. I'll show you. Alright. Let's go. I gotta keep practicing. <laughs> You know, um, today made me think of a good story. Do you want to hear it? Okay. So a uh, truck driver turns on the radio and he, he hears the news of an 18-wheeler speeding in the wrong lane on the same freeway he's on. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's amazing what crazy does, he thinks. Okay, so as he's driving, he suddenly has to swivel to the right to avoid a truck. And then quickly steers left to avoid another one. But once more to the right. Left, right, left, right, left, left. So he uh, <laughs> turns the radio off and he grumps. The hell just one. There are hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Good. It was hard. It's hard to <laughs> tell stories. <laughs> Well, you know, sometimes I feel like that driver, too.
Ariel. I was a little boy, like you. I'd come up here every summer with my parents and spend the summer with them. Yeah. Every summer. Yeah. Oh, you see that bush over there? Right over there? No, when you sit over there, the wind, the wind makes this noise where the only thing you can hear is the desert. It's, it's really cool. And, um, what can I say? I feel, I feel like I'm in a cage. Have I ever told you not to do something? It's my secret spot. It was my secret spot. Yeah. Hi, Phoenix. Oh. Hey, Charlotte. What's up? You okay? Yeah. I'm, uh... I'm just, um... You know... Hey, I got... You know what, Charlotte, Ashley? I'm not okay. I haven't been okay for a long time. I'm not okay at all. You know what, Luigi? It's none of my business, but you made it my business when you fucked up my nice walk home. Now, here's what I think. Here's my suggestion. You have to stop whining, crying, and blaming others for what you are frightened to do. You have to stop. You understand? Or you're just gonna disappear. Trust me. Oh, Danny, by the way, you're not intolerant to shit. Something some doctor told me. What are you doing? Delivering your mail, sir. Uh, no, but what? Okay, what about Ariel? Who? What do you mean, who? Ariel. What, what about Ariel? I'm, t I'm asking a question. What about Ariel?
some Stay focused. Stay focused. Biologic, technologic, organic, artificial gold. Poetry. No results. No results. thought about it. I th thought about you. About what? I think we should just leave. You know, life doesn't last forever and um, we're not exactly teenagers. I think here water is too shallow. Ducks don't float. Fuck it. Should just go. <laughs> I know I sound like I'm crazy. <laughs> that sounds fucking great. You barely know who I am. Your name is Phoenix. Phoenix Anderton. You're 43 years old. You have a passion for espresso. And practically an obsession, I would say, for Alka-Seltzer. You, uh... play the guitar. But from what I can hear from outside, you, you don't tune it that much. And you... You check the mail a lot. Especially the second Wednesday of every month. Why, I have yet to figure out. And you, um... Um... Well, you... When you touch yourself... You use the internet like everybody else, but, um... At the very end, you just gaze off into the distance. It's something that I find very sweet. <laughs> wow. I mean, yeah, you, you, know, you do it in the middle of the living room. I happened to be standing outside once. Once? It was twice. Oh, you're full of shit. <laughs> Four times. <laughs> <laughs> We end up delivering mail on a village of 300 souls. The day is long. I was the most talented wingsuit jumper in the world. I'm sure you heard about the feud between the Southern California gangs over the control of the Watts area. Well, six years ago, they stopped killing each other and decided to split the proceeds that came out of that area evenly. And they needed a place to store those proceeds. And I'm talking about cash. Guns, diamonds. Okay. I dig for them. 
Every month, I get two letters on the same day, at the same time. One letter from each gang. Each letter contains only one number, a coordinate, to delimit the Mojave Desert. I put the two coordinates together and I bear their stuff for them. So I'm the only person who knows exactly where it is. There's no um, drive-bys, no sit-downs, no bullshit, no fights. And it's tax-free. Every month, they both send tattoo artists who tattoo one number under each one of my feet. So in case I have a stroke or I'm incapacitated and they know where to go to find their loot. There's more money in the Nevada desert than there is in banks. And, okay, you know, um, one day um, I took my brother for, um, for a flight and I just, um, I just learned that my fiance was leaving me so I was, uh, I was unfocused. And I, you know, I thought it would be fun, you know, take my mind off of things. But we had an accident. I spent three months in intensive care and um, my brother died on the spot. So I was done with flying and um, I didn't care much about anything anymore. That's how I, ended up with this job, and uh, I never could find a reason to stop doing it, so I kind of, well, I moved out here and I'm still doing it. Um, I have a sister I love. Um, I like uh, the blues, old guitars, talk shows, chocolate, and you. Um, and tomorrow, I'm going to leave all this sand and shit behind me. I want to run away with you. Destination anywhere, and I mean anywhere, I don't care. Anywhere sounds like a long enough drive for you to learn a little something about me. I'll meet you here tomorrow at three o'clock. Really? Tomorrow, three o'clock. Okay. I'm so tired. You know, I just took the afternoon off. I won't do it again. You know who you're stealing from, don't you? Drive. You know you're not gonna get away with this, right? It's okay, amigo. Drive. 
Okay, don't, don't, don't. Okay. It's enough. It's enough when I say it's enough. Well, listen, man, I think um, we should take a break and have lunch or something and grab the rest of it this afternoon. But right now, you know, I have to go. I have an appointment. An appointment. You know, I have an appointment. I have a gun. Let's go to the next hall. Okay. Okay, sure. That's it. That's it. It's time to go. Grab the bag, one last hole, and then we're done. I'm not gonna. Look, I have a date, and I don't want to be late. One last one. Cuckoo. One last one. for you, okay? Well, like I said, I have a date. I have to find out what else she likes, you know? Yo, cabron. You out of your fucking mind, huh? Hey! Huh? I said, one last one. Grab the bag and let's go.
You know what? I've been thinking about this all day and I can't help it. I have to say it. There was no reason for you to treat my husband that way, especially in front of my child. He's trying to handle our situation here and you had no right to mistreat him. You don't even know us for God's sake. You really think this is how it works? You keep collecting dust in here and the only time you resuscitate yourself from the shithole you dug yourself into and try to communicate with the outside world is to insult someone? Really? And you think you can do it because you're so self-righteous and brave, so ahead of everyone. Well, the truth is, you're nasty. You are just a bad person. That's all. He took my gun. What do you want me to do? That's how it all went down. And that's all. In my van. Okay. Meet me there. giving the money back to you. Okay, I, I buried it. I dug it out. So, I'm gonna keep it. Okay, you know that your life is gonna be very short if you don't give me these bags back. You know that, don't you? I mean, it's narrowing down to what, uh, maybe a handful of minutes, perhaps, uh, if not that. And there's nothing that I could do about it. There's nothing. Do you understand that? Yes, sir, I do. So what are you going to do? I'm going to keep it. Phoenix. You know what uh, Fernando told me when I said I was going to propose you for this job? You want to hear that? I remember we were at a table and we were eating octopus, and he said, if you put a wolf to guard your house, you will get all the protection you need, but you'll always have a wolf at your doorstep. And a wolf can only act like a wolf. <laughs> and I agree. It's not even his fault. You know, I like you. But you know what happens when a wolf bites someone inside the house? I do. I believe you're a good man. And there are certain things a good man doesn't do. And the only way to be a good man in this fucking world is to never love anyone. Not even yourself.
change your mind?